Welcome to my channel. My name is Claire Moy. If you've never been here before, welcome, baby. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for returning. I am on my way to school. Um, this is the second week in my winter semester. If you haven't seen my first week, make sure you stop this video <laughs> and go check that one out and then come back. So that way you guys know why I'm taking a winter semester course. I just walked up one flight of stairs. Yeah, it's so hard for me to walk upstairs. But I have friends, right? Who are way heavier than me. And when they walk upstairs, it's like nothing. When I walk upstairs, it's crazy. I think I should get a coffee. <sighs> In here, I've never got a coffee here before. Whew. I don't know what I just ordered. It's really different. <laughs> Let me show you guys what the hell is going on in this cup. It's like this much coffee in here. I don't know what the hell I ordered. But, okay. Why I don't like ordering from new spots. Coffee, you know. Give me my Starbucks, give me my McDonald's. Because every time I order from somewhere new, it's some bullshit. I want to show you guys what I have in this cup. So when I get to class, <laughs> I'm not gonna drink any, okay? And when I get to class and I'm seated, I'm gonna show you what I got. And you're gonna be like, what the hell did you just buy for $4? <laughs> All right, we only have a few minutes to get to class and of course, your girl does not wanna be late, okay? Cause valedictorians are not late. All right, let's go. All right guys, I've made it in wrong time. And I still can't believe what's in here. It's literally like this much, this much coffee in here. I also got my nails done this weekend. I've been getting gel manicures, no acrylic. I just don't like acrylic. I don't like the length of it. I love having my real nails. It's very comfortable. <sighs> so yeah, I hope I have enough time in class to show you what's in this cup because I'm like right on time. Like, right on time. Thank God the escalators are working because last week when I came to school for the first day, the escalators were not working. Y'all saw how that went down, okay? The girl was not trying to walk up these steps because I need to lose weight. All jokes aside, guys, I need to lose weight. I'm not by, but see in a little bit. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm in class. Um, so what I realized that the coffee that I ordered, I need to make sure I'm going to the bathroom. The coffee that I ordered was just like shot. So I am wired. I feel amazing. Oh, class is so good today guys like it's crazy the, the how much good information like things that I didn't know oh my god I also want to show you guys what I'm wearing it's really cute but I didn't want to like pull out my camera in the bathroom because there were a lot of students in there and I want to be like you were cool to me and I want to be like first of all I just don't want to pull out a camera in the bathroom with other people in there you know it's a private area anyways going back to class i'm out of breath because
because I was walking around school trying to find a quiet spot to record this video without anyone hearing me and without me interrupting anyone because I am at school right now so <laughs> I was watching a documentary surviving with Kelly like most of us were and it it brought back memories of the time that I met him that I met our Kelly and one particular story was like boom that's exactly what happened to me when I met R. Kelly. So when I was 14 years old, well, I guess first before I start the story, I'm sharing this just because I believe that R. Kelly is truly evil. I believe that, you know, he has so many people <coughs> believing in, in him you know he was such a great figure for the black community and to have such power and to use that power for negativity is just something that I can't I can't get with you know I'm really disappointed in him you know regardless of his childhood which whatever he went through in his childhood is very sad but I also believe that when you grow up and you experience <coughs> different things and you and you start to know better I believe that you also have to start to do better and it's a shame that he's doing this to young black girls it's already hard for us out here so we don't need R. Kelly adding to our hardships so that's why I'm making this video um, just to kind of give you guys my story from a regular Degla girl so you know that he really does go out and pick up young girls at the mall okay Okay, so I was 14 years old and I was with my friend. I'm not gonna say her name because um, I don't know if she wants to be a part of this story time. I was 14 years old at the mall with my friend and um, we were walking in the mall, Sawgrass Mall in Florida. Um, we were at Sawgrass Mall and we were walking around and I saw R. Kelly and a few other guys. R. Kelly had on all white like a white adidas jumpsuit it might not have been adidas but it was that kind of style and he was inside i want to say a shoe store a sneaker store and there were like people around him or whatever and i told my friend i was like yo that's r kelly and my friend was like no it's not no it's not and i was like yes it is yes it is so we waited for him to but we didn't wait we just ended up walking and then we bump into them again and I was like I told you that's R. Kelly I was super excited which is crazy because I never get excited for celebrities but like that was R. Kelly like that was R. Kelly you know all those songs you heard of and blah 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 so I was really excited and um, I was like let's go up to him let's go say hi let's get his autograph so we get a piece of paper and a pen and we go up to him and I'm like excuse me are you R. Kelly he turned back and he was just happy like he was he was very friendly um but one thing i do always remember when i tell people this story i'm like it looked like he didn't have any like top teeth the way he smiled it just looked like but i'm very short and he's much taller than i am so maybe that's what it was i don't know anyways so i'm like hi can we get your autograph he gives us a hug um he signs his autograph and i'll never forget his signature job was like blue blue <laughs> like literally it was just like blue blue like that's what his signature looked like and i was like okay all right so then he told me i was beautiful um he might have told me my friend we were beautiful and then we went about our business he was with his security guards or other men two seconds later as we were about to walk off from our kelly one of his security guards i'm saying security guard but i don't know one of the guys who was with him comes back to us and he's like hey you know how old are you guys i was 14 and for whatever reason a 14 year old girl wants to lie about her age i um very foolishly said i was 16 and he was like oh, okay um do you guys want to come with us and i look at my friend my friend i don't really remember but i believe my friend was like yeah let's go and i was like uh -uh, wait a minute <laughs> I ain't going nowhere because my mama don't play them type of games. I said I'm going to the mall and that's the only place I can go to is the mall, okay? So I'm like, where are we going to? And he's like, oh, you know, you can just come with us, da 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 da. And I'm like, looking at my friend, I'm like, I'm sorry, but you know, we can't come. We're leaving. Um, we're leaving the mall right now. We can't go. 
and that was pretty much it you know um i didn't go i didn't go with r kelly because i said i was going to the mall and my mama don't play no games and that's the only place i was gonna go was the mall and then back home um i was 14 years old i'm not sure why i said i was 16 but either way however old however old he was 16 is still very underage and i was watching these videos i was like wow what would have happened to me if i was really like starstruck and i really wanted to go and experience whatever because it's not like they asked us do you guys sing do you guys model it was just like do you guys want to come hang out but as i was watching the show i was thinking like damn that could have been me like i could have went with kelly i could have been in his dungeon you know and i just decided to share that story so that if you're thinking that r kelly you know don't go to these malls or these schools to pick up young girls he absolutely does and i'm a witness of that so support these women who are coming out they're not lying i hope r kelly goes to jail for everything he has done that was definitely r kelly in that tape with that young girl in that sex tape okay and i just wanted to come on and share my experience um let's support these women and what they're going through and what they're trying to do you know mute r kelly um i'm still at school i'm about to leave go get something to eat right now because i'm hungry i didn't tell you guys but this week i officially 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 um started and i and i'm planning on sticking to an intermittent diet so i'm gonna go look somewhere for a good salad and have some salad and then i'm gonna go meet my mom christina and everybody because i'm gonna go to the eye doctor today so i can finally get my um contacts so um, let's go that's my professor right there guys anyways i was gonna go get something to eat but it looks like Christina won't. Christina will be here soon, so I'm just gonna go to Starbucks and see if I have something healthy, a fruit, banana, peanuts, something healthy. So I'm in Starbucks, my school Starbucks. Let's see, they have a parfait. They have juices. Damn, they didn't have anything. Um. I'm not gonna do a parfait because that's probably full of sugar. And they didn't. Ooh, it's chilly. I don't know what to do, guys. Should I go eat or go straight to the train station? You know what? Which way to the train station? That's a good question. Which way do I come? Oh, that way. Okay. There's a marketplace. Like I, you know, I'm gonna go to the marketplace and get some bananas or something because I need something to eat to break my fasting. <sighs> All right, guys. So this grocery store is awesome. It has like in the back, it just had like so much things to choose from. However, the line is really long. And I have to meet Christina, so I really don't want to stand in a long line. So, they offered sushi in there. And I just had one piece of sushi. And it completely, like, took my hunger away. So, I'm just going to head to go meet everybody. That way, I'll just get food while I'm with them. Let me cross the street this way.
Here you go, mommy. Oh God. Yeah, I actually saw the back of the car. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Hi mommy. The front of the car. No, I saw the back of the car. Oh. Yeah. Are you cool? Guys, I am in the Harlem market. I had no idea there was a market like this in Harlem. Oh my god, I'm so freaking wow, this is so cool. This is so cool guys. Look at that. It's really really cool. They have all kinds of stuff here. Oh my god. He's praying, Mom. Just scare yourself. No, but me, no, I'm not paying attention. I'm just go walking. <laughs> Wow, guys. Ooh, incense. The buckle man. Oh my god, I had no idea. I feel like I'm in like a little spot in Jamaica. Because <laughs> we had went to something like this in Jamaica. This is so cool. Wow, look at these pants. Yeah, guys. So you've seen this sweater, but I wore it differently. I wore it with my Fashion Nova denim jacket. Like I am, I literally have an all Fashion Nova. Seriously, all Fashion Nova. Whew. And you know what? I never expressed, and I think I'm going to express it today, is that like I am so incredibly happy and blessed that I work with Fashion Nova because. When I was younger going to school, this is gonna sound, maybe some of you will understand. When I was younger going to school, I didn't have a lot of clothes, you know, which is how I learned how to do my hair and my makeup because, you know, I wanted to look pretty, so I learned how to do my hair and makeup because I couldn't show my style through my clothes because we didn't have a lot of money to buy clothes like that, you know? So, like, literally, <laughs> I had like one pair of shoes a whole year. Um, of my I don't know the whole time I was in high school I had literally like one pair of sneakers my mama wouldn't want to say this but you know <laughs> okay we're not gonna get too much into into that but so now that I'm in school again and I have so many clothes that I get from Fashion Nova I'm, I'm so grateful for them because they're really beautiful clothes you know great quality and I have enough clothes that I could wear something different to school all the time and I can express myself through my fashion and I can look presentable so I just love Fashion Nova guys and I'm really happy that you know I'm on their roster and I'm able to work with them but let's get some coffee we have eight minutes to get to class but I got my coffee and I got a large hazelnut iced coffee What's poppin'? guys so this is what I'm wearing pretty simple I love this collar the jacket I told you this whole outfit from Fashion Nova and I'm wearing my 
Timberland black boots. So, very cute. So hopefully the computer room is open for me to make, ooh, lighting in here is very high. For me to make copies of this book because I ordered it online, but I haven't received it yet. So, ooh, it doesn't look like it's open. And I'm not about to print over 50 pages with my ink at home because ink is expensive. Ooh, so he was praying. I love that. Okay, so I printed the book. Yes. Now keep in mind, I ordered it, okay? But for whatever reason, it didn't come. So you gotta do what you gotta do. And I found the PDA for PDF version. So I just printed it, okay? Even though yesterday, you no, know I can't walk up no steps. But anyways. Even though yesterday, this is a script called The Piano Lesson by August Wilson, I believe his name is. I did find a book, The I did read the PDF yesterday on my phone while watching the movie on YouTube at the same time. So that was really good. <sighs> But I still wanted to have the book or the PDF when I go to class tomorrow because tomorrow we have a quiz. So yeah. Plus, I'm pretty sure that I did. I'm pretty sure that I did. I don't know what I'm trying to say. That's what happens when I walk upstairs. But this lipstick is really pretty. It's called Aftermath by Dosa Colors. I wore it yesterday too. So let's go have some lunch. I'm gonna take you guys to this spot that I had lunch. The salads are a bit pricey, oh, but it's so good. So let's go do that. And then we're gonna get on the train and head to meet Christina. Today my kitties went to the vet. No, only have one kitty. Oh, they tricking you with the cuddles. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one more thing. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, let's go eat. I came back. I got 
some chapsticks. I'm really not good at eating with chapsticks. And because I'm so hungry and I'm breaking my fast, we gonna chill out with the chopsticks. And it's zucchini, zucchini noodles. That was so good and light. Oh, that was delicious. So when I get home, I'm going to Amazon to buy me a zucchini noodle maker. <sighs> I'm in the car now. As I was walking down the block, I saw Christina. So I hopped in the car. She's at a green light. <laughs> You should have seen me running, y'all. I, I could run, but I cannot run in heels. Lord. So, I'm waiting for my mommy to come to the car so we can go and get this contact situated. And once we have this contact situated, then um, I can start beating my face again. You know what I'm saying? Is the truth you can't hide? Maybe be.